Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Continuing our series in uh, Psalms chapter number 51, this time we're going to look at a couple verses, verses 14 and 15. The Bible says, Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. What powerful, powerful words from, from uh, David here uh, by inspiration of, of God, of course. He says, deliver me in the beginning, deliver me from blood guiltiness. Now, uh, blood guiltiness means the guilt or crime of shedding blood. The guilt or crime of shedding blood. That's a little strange, isn't it? How David is saying, deliver me from blood guiltiness? And then he goes on to say, O oh God, thou God of uh, my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. Now I understand, you know, he did kill Uriah, and so he's asking for forgiveness of that, but he's already asked for forgiveness. And, uh, you know, he's, he's asking to uh, specifically to deliver him from blood guiltiness, and then he goes on about singing praise to God, not only in the second half of verse 14, but even in verse 15, O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. <clears throat> so he goes from you know asking God to deliver him from blood guiltiness, the the the, uh, the guilt or crime of shedding blood, to singing praise to the Lord, because there is a correlation. You see, um, Jesus clarified that when you hate someone in your heart you have committed something that is equal to murder, which I would say is equal to blood guiltiness, right? So this isn't necessarily what David is asking. It's not necessarily um, just the physical act of murder, but even the mental act of murder. When you have malice or anger or hatred toward another human being. And he goes on to say... Uh, to the Lord, you know, open my, my, my mouth, my lips, let me sing praise, you know, to you about your righteousness and all that. Because when we praise God with our mouths, it has a profound effect on our minds and in our lives. When we learn to praise God, because the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, right? And so when we're praising God, then that means our hearts are full of praise to the Lord. And when we're praising God and, and focusing on God, because the only way to praise God is to focus on God, um, then we won't be distracted by the petty things of this world. You know, all of the problems and issues that man has with their fellow man, the you know, the jealousy, the malice, the anger, the, uh, the covetousness, the hatred. Uh, it's all as a result of focusing on man and not on God. When we focus on God, we tend to forget those things and not fall prey to those things. When we focus on God, it will lead us to praise him. You know, I remember when I was in high school one time, we were waiting in front of a class, and I was not saved yet, and I was, you know, um, not a good person at this time, uh, you know, in my life. And this other kid walks up, you know, we're kind of talking in a group and all that, and then, um, you know, he, I don't know, flicks my backpack or something, you know, and I kind of give him a little nudge back, and then we start pushing each other, and Next thing you know, just like that, we get in a fight, you know, fist fight right there, right before class, you know, and we're, we're fighting, rolling on the ground, punching and, you know, and, and um, you know, just, just something just so simple like that, you know, just like, just from a little, a little nudge, you know, that's how it starts, uh, you know, but there was a lot of anger between the two of us, you know, and, and who knows if, if we actually sat down and talked, maybe we could have been friends. You know, but because of that, from that point on, we were almost sworn enemies from that point on moving forward. You know, um, 
for the rest of the time I was at that school. Fast forward to when I was in Bible college, uh, you know, I was uh, met a new friend and um, we were uh, in the same uh, dormitory floor and they had a little boxing match in the laundry room. You know, it's like, all right, who wants to box? And so we decided to box. We put on our boxing gloves and, you know, I, I had some some, you know, backyard experience and street experience, you know, and so we were boxing and uh, I was I was destroying him. And with every punch that I landed, it hurt my heart. I didn't want to hurt him. You know, I cared about him. He was my friend. And he, at one point, I was about to hit and I stopped myself and I just said, okay, I took off the gloves. I said, I'm done. I don't want to, I don't want to box anymore. Um, and then later on, he even thanked me. He said, thank you for, for going easy on me. <laughs> you know, and, uh, I didn't want to hurt him. Uh, you know, I was a completely changed person at that time in my life because not only was I saved, but I was praising God with my mouth and with my life. And as a result, I had a whole different view of my fellow man, a completely different view. Because when we praise God, it changes us. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.